hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video uh, we are going to uh, do some work on our enemy character and in the previous video we have uh, uh, in, uh, imported our character into the scene and we have applied the same script that was on our player kitty and we copied the whole script without any modification to our max character and right now if you move your character your enemy character will move with you this is because both of these characters have same script so uh, but your character will not play this running animation as you can notice this player it is also playing this uh, running animation so uh, to do that what we need to do is we need to uh, open the animator controller of our enemy that is max and you have to do the same thing that we have done with our kitty character so you need to create a parameter called speed just click here and create a parameter called speed and uh, you will have these three animations that we created in the previous video and uh, you need to make a transition from idle to running and from running to idle so make sure that on these transition make sure to minimize this transition and uncheck has exit time same with this transition you need to minimize this transition and uncheck has exit time and the conditions are the same that we have done with our kitty character in the previous videos so from uh, idle to running you need to put speed greater than zero and from running to idle you need to apply these two conditions speed less than 0 0.01 and speed greater than minus 0 0.01 so uh, that's after that uh, your character will play animation and now because we don't want our enemy character to be controlled by user with arrow keys instead we want our enemy character to follow our player so right now on the screen so let's say this is our uh, character and on the left side of the character all the positions here are less than our enemy character so what i mean was so right now if you say see that our kitty is at position on the x axis 0.12 and our max is on minus 2.01 so 0 0.12 is greater than minus 2.01 so we can say that if the position of player is greater than position of enemy it means our player is on the right side of our enemy so our enemy should move towards right and if the position of player is less than enemy it means our player is on this side right here anywhere in this side so our enemy should move towards left so to do that first open your max script and uh, remove the jump code that was in the update so remove it we don't want our character to jump with our player now after that we have what we have done is i have uh, created a private variable called kitty so kitty is this script we need a reference to this script to detect the position of our player because if we want to make a decision whether our enemy should move right or left we need to know the position of player so to get the position of player we need reference to the player script that is kitty and in the kitty script on the top i have added these two 
public properties so the first property is get x position and second is get y position so the get x position will return the current position current x position of the player and the get y position will return y position of the player so we can access these properties by using this script so uh, after creating this variable you need to initialize it with this line so we need to find the game object with tag that has player tag so our kitty you can see has a tag player and we need to get the component we need a reference to script because this is a script variable so we will we are saying get component kitty so this will successfully initialized our kitty object with our kitty script now now using this variable we can access all the public variables and functions in our max script so in the fixed update you can see that right now we are uh, getting the inputs from the keyboard whether if it is minus one so we will move left and it, if it is one then we will move right so we don't want this line so we are going to comment it and right here i am going to put some code so this is the code this piece of code sorry so now what we are actually doing here getting the x position of kitty so if the player position is greater than max position which is this transform dot position dot x so it means our kitty character is on the right side so our translation variable should be equal to one because when it is one our character will move towards right else if this this is not the case it means the kitty x position is less than max position so we are simply initializing translation with minus one now save this and go back now you will notice our max will follow the kitty so as you can see that when we are moving so right now the position of this is greater so that's why our max is continuously moving towards right now if when i go left the character will also move towards left so now we need to fix this overlapping so and also we need to uh, do the perform the death animation on our character when our enemy collides with our player also we need to slow down the speed of our enemy so we will do these things in the next video and uh, one other thing that we will do is to uh, uh, write a ai function a small function uh, which will be uh, which will uh, actually decide when to jump so uh, we will create our scene we will put different tiles in the scene and we will check if our player is on the tile and um, our uh, max character then should be jumped when it reaches this point so it will jump from here towards kitty so i will explain this whole uh, script and ai in the next video so if you have any questions please uh, check the uh, description of this video i have added some uh, links to my whatsapp group and social media if you have any problem you can always ask so if you like this video kindly uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comments